Virginia's governor has until just before midnight to sign hundreds of bills into law, adding to the hundreds of bills he's already signed. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy spoke to a legal expert and tells us what those new laws are and when they will go into effect. Alexis. Yeah, Eric, Deanna, good evening. You have that absolutely correct. 1159 tonight is Governor Glenn Youngkin's deadline to either sign, veto, or amend those 819 bills that were passed during this year's legislative session. The governor has already signed 510 of those bills into law, and they'll go into effect on July 1st. The Virginia General Assembly passed 819 bills this session, hundreds of which still waiting for Governor Glenn Youngkin's signature before midnight tonight. Here are a few bills to pay attention to. When House Bill 2387 becomes law, people who buy a gun safe or other lockable devices to store their firearms in will qualify for a $300 tax credit. 8 News legal analyst Russ Stone says that new bill could possibly help curb some of the gun violence we've been seeing across the state. By way of uh, tax credits, is trying to encourage certain behavior in people. That behavior is having gun safety devices. So they are some, essentially adding an incentive. The governor also signed off on House Bill 1373, which adds Petersburg to the list of cities eligible to host a casino in the Commonwealth. According to the bill, when an eligible host city is located within 25 miles of another eligible host city, the city has to vote on the question of whether casino gaming should be permitted. Prior to this bill, there is some reason, and I candidly don't know why, don't know what it is, that Petersburg could not do it. Now they can't. There's also Bill 1455 that empowers local law enforcement chiefs to impose curfews for up to 24 hours if there are times of civil unrest. The legislation comes after civil unrest and nationwide racial justice protests in 2020 in the wake of the police killings of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Essentially what that bill is doing uh, is it's, it's a way to make the process faster for the government to impose a curfew. The General Assembly reconvenes here in Richmond on April 12th. They're going to, when they do reconvene, they'll be voting on whether or not, on voting, excuse me, on the governor's vetoes or amendments. Now we'll have a full list of all of the bills that have been passed in this story online at WRIC.com. For now, live in Richmond, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.